Well, let's take a look at the very latest coronavirus headlines. Since August 30th, 124 Michigan State University students have tested positive for COVID-19. The school says that the students all live off campus and that the cases are linked to off campus large gatherings in multiple areas throughout the East Lansing community since mid August. On Monday, the state reported 1,156 new cases of COVID-19 with four more lives lost. Now that is a two day total number from Saturday and Sunday as the health department is no longer releasing numbers on a single day of Sunday. Also on the national front, the United States has now surpassed 6,300,000 confirmed cases of COVID-19. And what's more, more than 189,000 people have died from the coronavirus in our state this year. These numbers are from the Johns Hopkins University database. Tomorrow, it's a big day for gyms all across the state. They'll be able to reopen for the first time since March with strict safety guidelines and only allowing 25% capacity. Also, indoor swimming pools will also be allowed to reopen tomorrow as well. New here at noon, General Motors is taking a stake in an electric vehicle company. GM is investing $2 billion for a partnership in the startup company Nikola to help Nikola, Nikola's development of electric trucks. GM will provide Nikola with battery and fuel cell technology and will manufacture the company's planned Badger pickup truck. The investment gives GM an 11% stake in Nikola. And last week, GM also announced a plan with Honda to share development of electric and gasoline-powered vehicles.